Hey guys, how's it going? I'm super excited to bring you a new hydroponic system today. This is a super cute little hydroponic system um, from Fafa Grass. It is a smart indoor uh, garden and it says breathing fresh air at home, which is something really cool that they point out here that we don't normally talk about, at least I haven't on my channel is not only do you get awesome benefits of being able to grow something right on your counter, growing food and herbs uh, inside, being able to grow things throughout the season when you would normally not be able to grow them outside, um, but also, of course, we know that plants produce oxygen and actual actually filter oxygen, um, and so having uh, plants growing inside your home is really beneficial in that way as well. I kind of like that they point that out. So I'll let you guys get a look here. And I am excited to get into this system and really just see like how big it is and exactly all the little details about it. So I'm super excited. Let's get into this. Um, this was sent to me by the Fafa Grass Company and I will link it down below um, with the discount code. I was able to get you guys a 20% off discount code. It is discount code Evercrest. So whenever you uh, purchase your system, make sure you use code Evercrest and you will get 20% off. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this here. And so we have our little system here and we have a manual. So just our instruction manual. And then let's open this up. Okay, so we'll get the plastic off. Let's see how this opens. Now, you guys know if you've been with me for a while that all of my unboxing videos and assembly videos that I do for you guys are all the first time I see these systems. So this is not something where I get it ahead of time, take it out, figure it out, and then put it together for you. Whenever I show you guys these, this is the first time that I'm getting to look at them and getting to see how they operate and how they fit together. Um, and of course I edit my videos and stuff. So there's some parts where I'm like, I take certain things out where I'm like looking like an idiot for a minute trying to figure something out. Um, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Um, if you were not, because sometimes I get comments asking why I didn't do my research ahead of time. I actually do this on purpose because I want you guys to get my initial reaction from things. And I usually do follow up videos after the fact. So I'll do cleaning videos, um, for the particular system, or I do, uh, videos where I'm planting something else or maybe I'm just talking about hydroponic systems and some of my favorites um, So I always do follow-up videos for you guys if you want to check into those more But these unboxing and assembly videos are really just my initial um, Impression of them and what I think of them. So I just wanted to make that clear and to help you all set up yours So here we have the light bar and it looks like it's pretty much assembled already um, There's a little bit of padding in here so we're gonna go ahead and take that off so our light bar here and the rod that holds them on and extends is already um, put together for us a lot of other systems we have to put that together but this one is kind of already done and then this here is our top plate it has four spots for planting so you're gonna have four pods for this um, unit then inside here we have all of our goodies so let's pull some of these out First, we have our plug, so right there. Next, we have our soil sponges, and they give you just enough soil sponges to fill up your, oh, fill up your uh, system once. Um, here are the little domes that go on top whenever we're seed starting, which is kind of interesting because these ones, I don't know if you can tell, they go this way, they actually have a hole in the top of them, which is interesting because normally you want these um, closed so that humidity and things like that can stay inside and the warmth can stay inside. Um, so that's a little bit different. Um, then we have our plant food. What does this say? It just says plant food, 100 milliliters. Um, let's see what the ingredients are in this. Nitrate, nitrogen, uh, monocle, nitrogen. I don't know what that is. And then a bunch of other things, magnesium, a bunch of things that I should have studied on the periodic table in school, but I think I failed that lesson. 
anyway um so there's only one bottle of plant food that comes with this system if you've watched my other unboxing videos a lot of other hydroponic systems come with two of these there's an a and a b solution and they're normally dry they come as pellets this one is already a liquid and it's only one bottle so that's definitely different and interesting not necessarily a bad thing just different and then we have our pods here these are what hold our soil sponges in our system um, and then if we take a look inside the system here we can see that this right here is our pump and then this right here looks like a little fountain so I get a little closer there you guys go you can see it so I will be interested to see how that exactly works um, there's also something up top here I'm not sure what that is and then this little piece actually lifts off which is kind of fun um, because you can remove this dump the water out of it set it back on you don't need to take the entire system somewhere so that makes it kind of nice for cleaning purposes or if you're going to move it um, it'd be a little easier probably to pick it up and move it that way um, so let's go ahead and get this assembled and planted up because I'm excited about this. This is a really cute unit. Um, this is something that I think would be fantastic for someone who is starting out. Maybe you're not really into the whole hydroponic system thing yet, but you are uh, looking to try it out. This would be an awesome system. This would also be a great gift for someone if they're starting to get interested in hydroponics to try out a smaller system first. They can tuck it in anywhere on their counter or on a shelf or whatever. Um, I think these littler ones are really cute for that sort of thing. Also, if you are, maybe you have some bigger hydroponic systems, but you would like a smaller one just to sit right beside your stove or somewhere on your counter, easy access to just pick some herbs. I think it's really cute for that as well. So let's go ahead and get this assembled. We're gonna go ahead and put our top piece here back on. And we are going to drop our little baskets in. We're gonna put our soil sponges inside those baskets. So our soil sponge just fits right down in there and then that goes right in top. So I'm just gonna put all the baskets in and put all the soil sponges in. Okay, so right here in the front of our little top piece, we have a rubber piece right here, which opens up this little hole. This is where you're going to fill your system up with water and with nutrients. So to fill up our little system with water, we remove that plug that I just showed you. And um, I was just reading through the instructions and they're not super duper clear on like where the minimum and maximum water lines are for this. But what I'm gathering is um, if your water line is at sort of the bottom of this window, that is the minimum amount. And then right here, if you look inside your system, there is like a little bar that runs across there. That is the max fill line. So when you're filling your system up, you want to fill it up to the top of um, that bottom line there, if you can see down inside there. So to know how much nutrients we're going to need in our water here, we're going to have to measure out our water. And I didn't see anywhere in the instructions where it came out and said how many liters this unit would hold of water. Um, I may have just mixed, missed it. I was going through it quickly. But what I like to do with these kind of systems is I'll just measure out a liter of water at a time and slowly pour it in. With these um, nutrients things, it's always five milliliters of liquid to one liter of water. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour this slowly in the top here. So this system took a, uh, about one and a half liters to fill. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in, let's see, five, six, seven and a half, seven and a half milliliters of this nutrient solution, which it is called AB Nutrient Solution on the back. So I assume this company just kind of skipped ahead and put both of them together and put the water in for you. Um, so it's probably very similar. Okay, so now that I have our nutrients open and mixed up, we're just going to measure out seven 
and a half. You can't really measure a half very well, but something close to that. We're going to go ahead and add that in. And then I find that the pumps inside these systems really do a pretty good job of mixing everything together once you turn them on. So it is not necessary to really get in there and like stir it up or anything like that. So then from there, we can go ahead and plant some seeds. Since this system is on the smaller side of things, I think I'm going to keep mine more of an herb garden. Um, you could plant things like greens, spinach, lettuce, that sort of thing in these types of systems. Um, but you really want to think about the size of things and the size of your system. If you have a smaller system, you're just going to want to plant things that stay a little bit on the smaller side. Um, you definitely can't plant any like big tomato plants or anything like that in this. Um, some of the bigger hydroponic systems that we do will sometimes plant um, dwarf tomato varieties in those, but they are like the really tiny like cocktail tomato type um, dwarf tomatoes. We really don't even do anything that gets beyond 12 inches um, on the packaging. So that's something you just want to keep in mind. These little systems are fantastic for herbs. You can even tuck a little bit of lettuce in the back corner. Um, as long as you're cutting off of it and things like that, it won't get so big that it'll be too big for the system. So today I'm going to be planting some rosemary, some green onions, and some basil. So I'm going to go ahead and plant some rosemary here in the back corner, I think. And there's kind of like little cut marks in these sponges. It doesn't really have a hole like other sponges have, but you just want to shove your seeds down inside those little cut marks. And I like to plant two to three seeds per sponge. That way I make sure that I am getting something inside each little soil sponge because sometimes the seed isn't very viable or something happens to it, whatever it is. I just like to give myself a little bit of a buffer for success. Next, I'm going to plant some green onions up here in this corner. I find that I don't really love these little X's that are in these sponges. I prefer the ones that have a hole. It's much easier to drop something down inside those little holes than trying to shove it between these little X marks. Um, I would worry that the seeds would not be able to get in far enough and would dry out a little bit. Um, so that's something you just want to make sure that you get them down inside and they're not kind of like sitting on top. It might be easier if you had maybe a tool to kind of shove them in. I'm just going to use a butter knife because that's what I have sitting here. Definitely something to be aware of if you get this system to make sure that they go down inside there real well. There's, yeah, there's really not much of a hole there at all. So something to be aware of there. Um, and then I'm going to plant basil on the other two sides. Oh, that was a lot. I only need a tiny bit. Okay. So that's just how we plant our systems up. It's super, super simple. Um, I actually tried the other day taking some uh, seedlings that I had started up in um, just a regular soil tray and transplanting the tiny seedlings into one of the soil sponges. Um, I actually ended up using some soil from the seed starting tray to kind of help the uh, seedling stand up because it was the hole inside those soil sponges is sometimes a little big and it was kind of falling to one side and I really wanted to help give it a leg up to rooting in so I just kind of stuck it in there with some soil and it's doing really well they're still alive so far we'll see how it goes that would be a fun thing to do as well but most of the time I find with these hydroponic systems they do a fantastic job of germinating things um, seedlings and things like that so it's really not something to do it was just kind of an experiment that I was messing around with so after that we're going to go ahead and put our little domes on top which again these are a little bit different than other ones that we have seen but they should still do a pretty good job we're going to put our cap back on where we put our water in and we can go ahead and plug this system in. Now this system is very straightforward as there's no other buttons on top except for the power button. So there are no light settings to change from vegetables to fruit um, and flowers or any pump settings. Once you plug this in and turn it on, it's just going to do its own thing. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and the plug is in the back here. Right here is our plug-in port. 
We're going to plug that in. And then right on top of the system, which I'm going to lower this down because whenever you first start your seedlings, you want your light to be pretty close to them so they don't get, start stretching out and getting leggy. <laughs> so to turn this on, we're just going to press the button on top. And there we go. We have light. I hear the little pump running inside. Okay, so there's our little system all put together and turned on. Um, I was just looking inside here to see if that little pump kind of like is a fountain that it comes up out of, and it doesn't really do that. It kind of just bubbles around the sides. Um, so that's kind of interesting. It looked like it would kind of shoot out the top, but it doesn't do that, at least it's not doing that yet. So this little system I think is absolutely wonderful for someone like a beginner or maybe someone who is looking for just small, something small to tuck in their counter. Um, this is going to grow plants and it's going to do an amazing job at it, but it's very basic and I kind of like that about it because you're not worried about what light settings to use or whether the pumps on and off. You really just set this one and forget it. You're going to want to keep an eye on this window in the front. Um, because you want to make sure that the water levels are not getting too low. Um, if you see the water level down here in this window, you probably need to add some more water to it. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Every time you add water to it, you want to make sure that you're adding the proper amount of nutrients at that time. What I like to tell a lot of people to do is to fill up a liter container of water um, and then add your nutrients, mix it in, and then add that in as you need it. That way you already have it mixed up and you're not wasting nutrients or trying to figure out some obscure ratio with just a cup of water or whatever it is. Um, so that just makes it a little more streamlined and easy but you want to make sure that you're adding these because this is what your plants need to eat. Well, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this cute little um, hydroponic system come together. Thank you so much, Fafa Grass, for sending this out and letting us do an unboxing and review video of this. And if you guys are interested in purchasing it, make sure that you check out the description below. There will be a link there and a 20% off coupon code EVERCREST if you use it at checkout. I will also link our most commonly asked hydroponic question uh, video in the description below. Um, that video just kind of helps you guys with some questions that I get all the time um, and tries to answer them in one place for you guys. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.